this is Books Beyond Borders. Uh, it's been running for four years, and they have rescued thousands, thousands of books from going into the choppers. And it's such a sad thing to see this go under. Um, and cannily, it's a, coincidentally, it's a going down at the same time as, as borders. Um, and uh, they have 100,000 books here. These will get sold for pennies on a dollar. Yeah, but they're all manually cataloged. These books come from uh, uh, the Austin Library system and from Half Price Books and other bookstores, um, some from Dallas also. And uh, it was growing, but uh, they ran out of resources. Um, these are all stacked up. These are just books and books um, that will mostly end up getting recycled. And uh, there's a very neat uh, chopping machine that uh, separates out um, the paper from the hardbound cover so that it could be, be uh, recycled easier. This has cardboard and that has paper. And this machine is the one that separates them uh, as the books are fed <coughs> from the side. The other neat thing that the, uh, oh wow, look at that, mitts of the female divine. There's just unbelievable number of cool books here. Um, and the other thing they did was they also sent uh, uh, old video cassettes and uh, CD covers uh, they sep and the cassettes. They, I, they went to China. They go to China and where there's more manual labor to separate the type of plastic. Plastic gets recycled better if it's separated. It's, you know, 100% recyclable as long as there's, there's only one kind of plastic involved. So it's a sad thing. Uh, I wish there could be somebody who could rescue this. Some business students get together. <laughs> Um, it's not going to be a lot of money to, to, let, to get it going, uh, to keep it going. This is where uh, volunteers and some employees work to sort the books uh, as they came in. Uh, they came in by, by truckloads. And... Uh, and then uh, once a month, uh, they would have these books uh, to be, uh, uh, they separated the books for little kids, and families would come in and fill up boxes and take free books for their children. Oh, here it is. They would fill up these um, big trays, and once a month, children and their parents would hang out in the big hall space up front um, and uh, sort through and take uh, one huge box of books each. This happened once a month, and that activity is going to go down. Books and books. I wish I could uh, send these to India. I'm going to try to use this video to uh, see if there is uh, some party out there, maybe a non-profit, uh, maybe a philanthropist organization, maybe uh, a trust fund, maybe... Uh, something that can keep this operation going and uh, we, uh, it's just shutting down. Save, help. So give me a call, 512-589-9009. Actually send email to um, tabulation at gmail.com, T-A-B-U-L-A-T-I-O-N.com or anup, A-N-U-P at semiprecious.com. S E M I P R E C I O U S dot com. Or you can text me also, which will be the best thing. 512 589 9009. Or go to booksbeyondborders.com and make contact and say, please, please, don't stop this operation. Let it go. Let it, let it keep going. We'll find somebody to help. Bye bye.